In today's video, I'll be testing out life hacks from the YouTube channel 5 Minute Crafts to find out how well they actually work in real life, including hacks for your car, hacks for your yard, and some hacks that just help you be sneaky with varying levels of success. Plus, more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. I first saw these life hacks on 5 Minute Crafts and BuzzFeed and a site called Can You Actually and every other website on the internet. Which leads me to believe that there is either a ridiculous amount of overlap, or everyone is just taking everyone else's ideas. But while there are a million places you can go and see these life hacks, something tells me that in a real life scenario, some of these life hacks might not go so well. And to be honest, some of them are completely pointless, while others are more intricate projects that require tons of time and materials. But out of all of the clutter, I selected the ones that I thought were the best. Then I'll show you a few of the worst life hacks I've ever seen. So now we'll be getting started with the first life hack, which is just a sneaky way to trick people into thinking you're not an alcoholic. Or if you don't want people to know you drink Diet Coke. Although I don't know which is worse. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Diet Coke is worse. For this next life hack, they suggest cutting open a tin can and using that to hide another tin can with maybe a beverage you don't want people to know you're drinking. I've got cream soda. I'm going to try not to prejudge this one, but I'm going to prejudge this one. So there's a number of things I could see going wrong, including making big wide cuts that are too obvious, or whenever you're cutting open a tin can, you risk cutting open your hand as well. Hopefully I don't do that, but we'll see. I'm going to choose an inconspicuous spot on the can and poke a hole through it with my knife. I hope you've got your tetanus shot. I can see this working from afar, but I could also more likely see a drunk idiot cutting their hand wide open on one of these things. I mean, it'll be wet with condensation, it's slick because it's a tin can, and when it falls out of your hand, it might take some fingers with it. Overall, I am gonna say that this does pass though, because not everybody is gonna be using the wrong tools like I did, but if you really need to drink alcohol in places that you're not supposed to, you should probably go to an AA meeting instead. That's a better life hack. That being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. Next up, this one is pretty straightforward. Just use frozen grapes to chill your wine. And I've actually made fun of this one before for being so simple. That life hack and I are both simple. But if you've ever frozen a bag of fruit before, you'd know that it all just kind of freezes together. So I thought this would definitely be worth testing. So this first part is simple. I just put the grapes in the freezer. But my thoughts are that these grapes might actually all get frozen together. So I'll have a backup set of grapes and we'll find out if containers really matter. Or you could just ruin all your grapes by freezing them all together. Now life hack should be easy because it's supposed to improve the quality of life. We'll give that a few minutes, then we'll pour up a glass and find out how well it worked. All right, I think that's been enough time. Now we're gonna take the grapes out of the freezer and see what they look like. Well, they just kind of look like grapes. Oop. Well, some of them are frozen together, but for the most part, I guess this life hack works. All right, to be honest, it was kind of a gimme, but I needed an excuse to try this. But to be honest, I didn't leave them in there for very long, and I bet you that if you waited long enough, all of these grapes would have been stuck together. I don't want to seem too negative though, because it actually did work. And it might be my new favorite way to drink juice. As it turns out, you don't even need to use wine like they said. It works with a lot of different beverages, I would presume. That being said, we'll be on to the next air, or life hack. Today it's life hacks. This next life hack is a cool way to organize your freezer. And seeing as how I love stupid puns, and I have a messy freezer, I thought this one would be perfect. I have purposely left my freezer a mess just so I'd be able to do this challenge. I promise it's not like this all the time. Okay, maybe it is, but it's particularly messy right now. And I'm interested to see how well I can actually clean up my freezer using these things, so let's see how it goes. So it looks like we've come to a problem, and that is that some things are gonna be too heavy. With that bag of peas, I did have to fold it over the metal bar, which isn't really a problem, so let's see if we can continue it that way. Well, if you remember what my refrigerator looked like before, I would definitely say that that was a good life hack. To be honest, it's never looked that good. And I'm out of paper clips. And I'm gonna give this life hack an A. That being said, we'll be on to the next one. If you have more weed whackers than you have common sense, this next life hack is for you. For this next life hack, they were saying that if you don't have any weed whacker thread, you could use zip ties. So we're gonna test that out. Also, another quick life hack while we're doing this, if you ever have a spool of weed whacker thread that you don't want to come undone, 
you can just put it in a cup and that works great. Now if you are in a bind and you're gonna attempt this life hack, you should probably leave the zip ties on a little bit loose. Because otherwise they're gonna be pretty difficult to take off. And you also wanna make sure that they're not longer than the guard you have on your weed whacker. Now the only downside left is that there's only a little bit of cord here, which is a problem because a normal spool of weed whacker thread comes with a lot of weed whacker thread. I don't even know if weed whacker thread is what you're supposed to call it. And you need that because as you're using it, little bits and pieces of this are gonna get chopped up and broken. So this is definitely not gonna last as long. But again, this is just a life hack, so maybe it's only meant for when you're in a bind. But either way, we're gonna see if it works. Now overall, I have to give this product a pass because there's nothing worse than taking a trip to the store when you're in the middle of a project. And this is the sort of thing that could get you out of that kind of a bind. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. Next up, this life hack actually doesn't piss me off. So for this life hack, what we're gonna be doing is finding out if rubber bands will work as a good vent clip for your phone. Now I have some weird vents in my car, so I already don't think this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. If I lose a rubber band down my air vent, I'm gonna be pretty upset. I eventually got the rubber band through. Surprisingly, with the rubber band on it, it still swipes. And because my air vents will turn completely around, I can even put it in landscape mode. Now I'm just gonna drive around and I'm gonna see how well this thing actually holds on there. We're back and the results are the phone is still there. Uh, it wasn't very easy to get it attached, but it did hang on. So I think this would be great if it was like a road trip life hack. Probably not something you wanna do every day, but I gotta admit, I've had actual vent clips that are meant to hold phones not do as good of a job holding a phone. What I'm saying is I'd pay $20 for this rubber band. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. Okay, and I got the rubber band back. So for this life hack, I gotta admit, it's not one of the ones I have much hope for. You just simply blow up a balloon and press it down onto your phone and it makes a little phone case. I think that it will technically work, but I just think it's probably gonna be the absolute worst phone case you ever have in your life. But I'll still test it to find out. All right, well, it made a phone case kind of has no support, some of the screen is covered, but it does have a little grippy handle thing. And if that's the only reason for doing this, then I say it's not bad, because it actually does have a pretty cool little handle and you can sling your phone around until it falls out and breaks. Okay, now it's cool. I just dropped my phone with no case on it. I think I might be as dumb as this life hack. It still works, but I do think it's cool how you can make a balloon cover something like that. I just think maybe we can do better than a phone case. Maybe like a swimming cap or something. Of course, you'll need a slightly bigger balloon for that. This balloon might be too big. Well, I wanted to use the beanie because I feel like this is gonna rip my hair out when I pull it off, but I guess that's the price you pay for a good life hack these days. Or maybe it's not a swimming cap at all. Maybe it's just some sort of closed fist glove. Oh, getting lightheaded. But yeah, you know, like a boxing glove. I don't even know where that balloon went. Yes, I did it! Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a boxing glove. Or more like an MMA glove. Sure, that's my MMA glove. This is as good of an MMA glove as it is an iPhone case. Well, I guess you can't use balloons for everything, and that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. Finally, if you guys can think of any good life hacks, make sure to leave it in the comment section. They could be funny, or something you've seen before, or something you made up yourself, and I'll be picking my favorite 10 comments and featuring them in the next video. And I'll be responding to and liking your comments, and I'm, of course, very excited to see what you guys have got to say. So if this video was helpful, or if you just enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and of course, I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. All right, thanks guys, bye.